Welcome back to the William Street Veterans Memorial Coliseum Soldiers and Sailors Arena. For last the third week, quasi final round. Go ahead. We had the Knights Joust last week between Gideon and Hero 121. Uh, Gideon was thrown off the side, and Hero 121 won. Priscilla was shaken up. Looks like she's back on her feet. She's a tough kid. TPK for total package. She's smart, she's beautiful, and she can dance. Let's take a look at these brackets, Max. Man, it's been such a crazy thing so far. The Booch and Hero 121. The leg But now we got to choose what match happens today. Only two options left to choose from in these quasi-finals. Foot and Kermit, Kebab, or Blazion Twin 1? Who would you pick? Oh, I'd, I'd pick Foot and Kermit, which oh. it looks like they're going to. No. I was wrong. Kebab versus Blazion Twin 1. This is going to be a big one, Max. I'm a very excited. I mean, that means immediately you can start going to the DFL poll. That's right. You can go and see what is happening on DFL. That's adultswim.com slash DFL slash poll. That's right. It's a live poll. That is right. It is a live poll. Let's see where it's at. Looks like a few votes have already come in. It's 67 versus 33. Max, I want to point out to you that this is not merely Atlanta voting. It's not merely the U.S. Mm -hmm. This is a global fight show. These votes, these calls are coming in from around the world. This is non-geo-filtered international entertainment, the Daytime Fighting League. If you want to be a part of it, daytimefighting at gmail.com or just send us an email. Send us a picture of you watching the show, doing these moves on your parents, your friends, your enemies. Now, what do you think about these fighters today, this week? Well, we've seen them both win their respective matches. and I think the Blasian Twin won. It was a clear dominator early on. I don't think Kebab had as much impact on his opponent yeah. back in the early rounds of Daytime Fighting League. Uh, if, you had, if you had to lay your money on one of these guys, Max, who would it be right now? Well, honestly, it's hard to tell for me completely, uh, but... I remember, I remember quite fondly Kebab's enthusiasm. He had a great tiger leap at one point, and he just took these men down, an older man, twice his size. Winky. He dominated Winky. Uh, but it was a close fight. But I would say, I w personally, I would say the Blasian Twin match was closer, though um, Blasian Twin 1 took out there. I think it was a, just a couple of slip-ups that really got him in there. And you'll remember who Blasian Twin 1 fought. That's right. He fought Blasian Twin number two. I got to I gotta wonder if Blasian Twin two is in the building today rooting on his brother or just coincidentally showing out there because that's how twins operate. Well, looks like people do vastly prefer Blasian Twin number one. He's a bigger, bigger guy, stronger. stronger guy. People remember how strong he was. But, Max, the thing is about Daytime Fighting League, strength doesn't always matter. Sometimes it's reason. Mm. That gets you through the fight. Well, and sometimes, you know, you really got to get to know these fighters before you can really, uh, really think who's going to be the winner. I mean, of course, we have seen these guys before, but uh, a little reminder would go a long way. Do you agree? Yeah, Max, I do agree. Uh, later on, we'll be taking some calls at this number, but right now our fighters are entering the backstage area. They're about to find out exactly what kind of fine mess they've gotten themselves into. Yeah, that's right. We have to find out what today's match is through the random match selector, RMS. They keep getting a little bit crazier. The simple title last week of Night Joust. Nobody could f foresee that kind of devastation. There's only one, two, three, four, five fights left. Could be those jean shorts. It could be that little demon. It could be a brick with water. It could be a, like a, a box. Nightmare, yeah, nightmare ball. ball. Nightmare ball. Maybe Josh can clarify things about nightmare ball. He's holding a bowl of something. But, oh, no, it's a ball. But and He's petting this man. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thank you, Josh. Kebab doing arm spinning warm ups. 
He looks ready to uncork his fury. I had a chance to speak to these guys earlier, Max. Let's uh, take a look. Well, did you speak on with them one on one? I spoke with them one on one. I was behind the camera and I did an interview with them. I can learn a lot from that. Oh, nice pit hair on this man. And nice ground beef on that shirt. Makes me hungry. Nice noodles in that box. Nice Red Bull to the side. Nice linguine. My sandwich is almost since I was 12, but I didn't get serious about it till high school. Uh, usually cold subs or hot subs and like just like ham and cheese and stuff. Like Mike's way is like the way that we have to make the sandwich. It starts a rash like on my hands and on my feet and it just spreads around. I wonder if she's playing Pokemon Go, which just came out. Maybe she's voting on the live poll. I don't, does that work on web? We have a friend that was a stripper, and he said, hey man, I got this gig that you can make some uh, extra money doing, like crotch grabbing and everything, and almost got into an argument and a fight with him. So coming into this gig, we were kind of weary of what it was, but luckily it wasn't any crotch grabbing. I'm not trying to grab his crotch. That sounds fun. Max, big news. Fighters are coming into the arena just in time for Murder One, who's down at ringside, ready to break this fight down. Let's hear some of that Murder One, Murder Insight. Nightmare ball. This is just a big ball of mystery. Keys to victory on this one. Stand focused, dig hard, gut check. Don't be surprised by anything and keep your head on a swivel because this one is vicious and you don't know what to expect. Don't know what to expect. Keep your head on a swivel, Max. Good advice. They're getting all the stretches they can in. Oh. Avid viewers will recognize this as Blasian Twin Number One's theme song. Dressed in uh, regular attire. Nothing special. No oh, Blasian Twin's mother is there. I don't think that's his mother. but it might be his opponent's mother. See that look? Almost like he was surprised. Oh, this, this butterhead showed up. This little butterhead. No costumes, Max. Why does this make me nervous? Because you're worried about full contact violence ever since you got that bruise on your head. I don't know. These guys look a little nervous to me, too. Cobb's, Kebab's very aloof. Let's see some stats, huh? Kebab. Let's see his stats. He's 19 years old, 130 pounds, and an Aries. Sign of the... I don't know what it is. Is that a bird? And of course, Blasian Twin number one. 23 years old, 198 pounds, and a librarian. <laughs> Sorry, I meant Libra. I like to take the words out of context. Phone lines are open, Max. Let's uh, take another look at our live poll. Let's see how the votes are going. It really uh, has not really changed much at all. People's opinions are pretty gosh darn set at Blasian Twin number one being number one. That means these votes are coming in at a similar ratio as they were before. I'm getting all kinds of emails. The servers are exploding with fans across the globe. What are they saying? Weighing in. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm reading uh, on the chat right now, even. Butterhead, I hate his taco face. Says Backdoor Man 69. And Permanent says, Winner gets mother. Jeez. Um. Uh, Lee Wilson says, This might be the best thing ever. Keep it up. I got that in an email. Brave Meat Brick said, Blasian 1 absorbed 2's power after defeating him, and now he's stronger. Daytime Fighting League. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Lee works at Kayla Field. Hello, my name is Oche Bates, and I come from Chicago, Illinois. Yes, sir, Oche. Who do you like? Uh, I'm going, huh? Who do you like in this fight? I'm going for the other guy. Oh, the other guy. I would have thought yeah. that you'd have one of these guys. Well, Ted Bob is one of the good guys. You know that. Yeah. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by Kebab is one of the good guys? And we know well, that. Well, he's a good fighter, and uh, I want to know that he always fight everybody on there. So, being a good guy is fighting everybody on there? 
Yes. You know it. You are sound like a true daytime fighting league fan. Your money's on Kebab. Who are you looking to take yes, this whole I championship? Was, yep, I watch it every day. I watch Josh, Josh Stream every day. Who are you going to root for in the final championship of this daytime fighting league? It's, we're just a couple weeks away from it. Well, well whoever fight and win the championship, I'm going to see if I'm out. But who do you think? Who's on the championship? Well, we don't know. It could be Kebab. It could be Blazing Twin Number 1. It could be Boots. It could be Hero 121. It could be Foot. It could also be whoever Foot's fighting. Kermit or something? Kermit, right. Who do you like? I like the Foot. The Foot? This, this guy's yeah. money's on the Foot. Why is your money on the Foot for in the end? Well, if the Foot wins, I'll be happy. Why will you be happy? Because I'm the biggest fan of the foot. And I want to see if the foot tags up with the boots or the bomb. Well, you'll have to stay tuned for Daytime Fighting League semifinals, finals, which start next week. Now it's time to go back. Thanks for calling. But before we go back, Max, let's take a final look at our poll. Let's take Thank a you look. For calling. I also have, it hasn't changed. It's still 65 35. That's wild. But I, I also talked with Hero 121 a little bit to hear what he had to say about this. Do you guys want to take time to maybe uh, watch that before we go rushing into violence all the time? Show it, Max. Okay. Man, the foot is kind of like Booch, but bigger and blacker. Does that make sense? This is your boy, Hero 121. This is your DFL. <laughs> Cut <and> crap. <laughs> If you look at your fingers and then look at a turtle's neck, look how, look at the comparison. Look at the lines of how things match up with a turtle. It kind of freaked my fingers, remind me of turtle's necks. That's right. Wow, good stuff. Good insight. Good fighter. Hope to see more from him. Hero 121. What's the next round called, Max? Is it the semifinals or the finals? Semifinals. Okay. Last look at the poll. It's, it's not changed at all. I don't know why people. It's for every two people voting Blazing Twin, one person's voting Kebab. Anything can happen. The arena's about to explode. The people can't take it anymore, Max. Let's do this. Everyone is excited. Let's see what this nightmare ball has in store for us. Here they come. They look nervous, Max. Take a look. A 
darkened ring. But there's a kebab right there in the taco top. A Never got a good look at that ceiling before, I just noticed, I'm sorry. A plastic tarpaulin stretched across the canvas. Have we seen that before? I don't think so. A little bit of anxiety up here in the booth. That must be the nightmare ball. Okay, the first competitor to reach the golden baby will be the winner. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to reach the golden baby first. Blasian Twin 1 has possession currently of the Nightmare Ball. As you can see, there are many layers to this to reach the core. To reach the Golden Baby, but why the tarpaulin? It's a whole ball of mystery. It's like a Christmas morning in a trailer park. Yeah, yeah. A lot of layers in this Nightmare Ball. There's nice. a pink bandana. Drives inside. Blazing Twin maintaining possession of the ball. Kebab already looking exhausted. What's going on with him? He hasn't had control over this match at all. He tried his tiger leap right there, but it didn't really do much to the Blazing. He's like a rooted tree. Now they're just hugging. Blazing Twin won in control of the ball, in control of the fight. That's probably what's gonna get him a victory, no matter how long it takes if he stays in possession. Oh, oh, it's gone over to Kebab. He has reached around underneath and he's gotten the ball, Matt. Tarp is starting to give there. And oh. look at this, he's re Blazion Twin has reclaimed it. It's kind of like Kebab right now is a little toy. There he is. Moral support from BT2. Look at this, Max. Look at this octoblock technique. That's a the whole layer is now gone. We have shed a layer. Looks like you could just throw Kebab around like he's a spindly mess of bones. Tarpaulin mysteriously repaired. Regenerating tarp. Making some progress, cracking open this nightmare ball. Kebab's dad watching from the bar, as always. And there's a recital, Kebab's dad's like, is there a bar? Look at this, Max. Attempting a leg swoop, taco toss. But Blasian keeping hold of that nightmare ball. Oof. It backfired on Kebab. What happened? Let's take another look. Oh! Elbow to the head. We're going to need a medical technician. Top doctors in Atlanta are here to help us. Yeah, that's just really fucking hurt. The best medical treatment we can afford. He's clear to continue. Wow. That was a quick recover. Priscilla's going to need to do a reball. The Bob's girlfriend rooting for him. His whole family's here. Oh, the Bob like gets he... possession. I feel like he got hit in the head like immediately again, though. This uh, Blasian Twin Max is relentless. I'm wondering if Kebab thought his blue shoes would make his feet blend into the floor so Blasian wouldn't know where he's walking, but I don't think it's working. Oh, a steal. BT regains possession. Mama Kebab not happy. Ripping off layers, ripping off layers. Oh, a layer's gone. I'm seeing noodles. Noodles in the ring, Max. That's not a nice thing to call Kebab's legs. He's putting noodles on his head. What does that accomplish? That just seems goofy. Humiliating him, but Twin laughs it off. He just wants to get to that golden baby. He knows what the important thing is, the golden baby. Ooh, baby. Oh, ooh, oh God, it's like a pimple. We have liquid. What kind of liquid that is, anyone's guess. Could be Caro. There's barely any layers left on this ball. They're getting to the middle of the nightmare. There's golden glitter. Does that mean we're closing in on the golden baby? I'm assuming so, because at the core of a nightmare is a golden paradise. Look at those beautiful hands. I bet they could work wonders on your calves. 
Bob with a steal. Oh, gosh. This is what counts, though. He's Getting got the, the baby. Last balls. Or is there another layer to this nightmare ball? Does he have the baby? He's trying to get his little tiny white boy fingers in there, but I don't think he's going to do it. Mama Kebab's on her feet. Glacian Twin not letting up on the gas. No, he's not going, oh, geez, I lost it last minute. No, he's in there wrenching his wrists around that thing. What is that? A They're both pushing the limits in pursuit of this golden baby. Who's going to run out of gas first, Max? Oof. I think it's going to come on down to who's who's on diesel. It's a re-steal. Kebab takes it back. Ladies no, he Twin loses has the last it. second takeaway. Oh, it's Kebab giving up? The it's baby's out. In. The baby is out. The golden baby Time is out. For some laser persuasion. Winner, Blinken Twin number one. This twin had more stamina, Max. The nightmare is over. Get down there. Want to hear from our winner. Do you think it's weird when adults take baths? <laughs> Sometimes, but I think it's necessary when they stink. Like instead of a shower, though. Oh, no, um, well, no, so I need a bath right now, that's why you're running. Do you know in baths, you know, you're like sitting in your own dirt, is it, do they work? Yes, it, it exfoliates the skin very well. In the bath, but doesn't it just float around you and then stick to you? That's the whole point. <laughs> In the shower, it just falls down. In the bath, it comes back to you. So you want to keep your dead skin? Yes. It builds scales. Congratulations. We'll see you in the semifinals of Daytime Fighting League. Malaysian Twin won. He's a real deal. In two great fights. He's proven to be unstoppable. That eliminates Kebab from the lineup. Our condolences to Kebab. Preliminary condolences to uh, his upcoming opponent, the Booch. Join us next time for our final quasi-final round. Thanks for watching Daytime Fighting League.